So, continuing our series, True or False, this is Lesson 49, Part 5. Now, in earlier Trues and Falses, I've said we need a few maybes. I've been sort of flexible. When it comes to this particular bit of poison, I'm very dogmatic. It's a falsehood. Now, what is it I feel so strongly about, I can hear you asking? It's this. The idea that if you set up to a golf ball and sort of halfway back, that this shaft is parallel to the shaft on the floor and the toe in the air. It's a disastrous piece of advice. It's wrong for so many reasons. It's probably going to be 10 minutes in this five minute lesson to explain to you what's wrong with it. Let's go back to basic principles. Let me stand up and make a horizontal swing. You can see that the sweet spot of the golf club is opposite my upper sternum. So as I make a movement in plane, the club head tracks in plane, level with the floor. So, as Simon, my cameraman, puts a graphic in for you, you can see the club head working in a horizontal plane. However, if you look at the butt of the club, you can see it's below the plane of movement between my sternum and the club head. So as the swing takes place, the butt of the club rises to the plane. It's a really important thing to understand. The butt of the club is below the sweet spot, it rises to that plane. So in the horizontal mode, I'm going to give you half a swing. Half wrist, half forearm, half shoulder. That's about half a swing. Now, if I lean forward to hit the golf ball, you can see that the movement in plane is nowhere near parallel toe up. Even if that were true, I would challenge it on the basis there are 13 long clubs. So if this were true, which it isn't, I would need you to have a position for driver, three wood, five wood, three, four, five. You'd have a variation of movement that the idea of toe up parallel doesn't allow. We have to have a flexibility and understand that the attitude of the blade will vary from club to club because of the plane of the swing. Also, the journey of the forearms affect it and the forearms rotate quicker with the driver than they do with the wedge. So there's a whole myriad of things going on and you don't want to clone yourself into one poisonous piece of advice, parallel toe up. It's nonsense, don't let anybody sell you to it as the truth, it's an absolute falsehood. So, let's show you a golf swing step by step, in plane. The club head is tracking opposite my sternum, my wrists are hinging, my forearms are rolling and rising, and now at the top you will see that the sweet spot and the club are in the same plane. Now, if I had a fade shot, I'll make a return journey. I'll come down and the shaft is going to be in the same plane as it was address. And then I'm going to go through. If I draw the ball, the club might rise a little bit more through impact. So, if this is half a swing in plane, I lean forward, driver, six iron wedge. You can see that has no relationship to parallel toe up. Let's suppose I gave you parallel toe up and stood up. Can you see the relationship? This is absolutely disastrous. I'm out by about 18 inches. This is where I would be halfway back in plane. Nowhere near here. Okay, so one of the things that has created this falsehood is the idea of the shaft plane. That's created havoc as well, but we'll do that on a different day. So, don't worry about the intermediate position going back. It's really not an issue. If you start to think about an intermediate position here, you better learn 13 of them, one for every club, and then there's half shots, that's 26, and then there's three quarter shots, that's 39, and so on. I think it's much healthier to think about the whole journey. So, once you set up, the shoulder loads to the throat. Off we go, load the shoulder, Release the shot. Load the shoulder. Release the shot. Okay, load the shoulder, stop. There's the halfway. Now if I stand up, you can see I'm true to plane. You would not like to see me here. I've got to make a terrible correction. I either stay there and flip it, or I have to come over the top. Sadly, Tiger fell into this heresy a few years ago and he was taught to take the club head back to here on the shaft plane and then roll the forearms. 
And really, I believe it's taken the efforts of Sean Foley to get him out of that poisonous advice. You're not going to see Tiger halfway back toe up shaft anymore. The hands, the club head, is going to be more outside the hands. And when you talk about the club head outside the hands, it differs with every club. So if here is half a driver swing, half a six iron swing, half a wedge swing, even where the head is related to the shaft, varies from club to club. So hopefully we've killed that one. Forget shaft parallel toe up, it's a nonsense. All you've got to do is focus on the journey of the shoulder to the throat and then hit the shot that you intended to hit.